Welcome back everybody to another video about gaming with Kirby. I am your host. We are on Train Some World 2 today. Alright, so we're gonna dim our headlights first off. We're waiting for another train to go by so we can take off. Take the sighting, we'll set off five tank cars from behind our engine. Alright which will be those five right there, all right? Then this is the rear of our train. And as you can see, you see the locomotives straight up ahead from us. And you see another train coming towards us. <clears throat> to do is full application. We're going to release the uh, brakes on this locomotive, or on, not on the locomotive, but on the uh, train in general. Here comes the passing train. Whoosh, whoosh. One by. One by. We're going to go put our headlights on. Reversers forward. All right, here we go. All right, let's go, locomotive. I don't know. We got a lot of weight behind us. Oh, come on. I don't know why you want to be stubborn. There we go. Notch three is what it took. So we do have a crossing coming up ahead. And we're going to sound the horn for this crossing outside the locomotive. Now we don't want to go too fast because we're in a 25 mile per hour restriction. So here we go. Now the horn on this locomotive does not sound like a real road engine horn, but that's okay. We'll make do with what we got. And that's how you do it. Now, unfortunately, there are no whistle posts for some reason in this game. Those mile markers, but no whistle posts for some reason. So I always like to zoom in every once in a while, see if I can see uh, the roads coming up ahead. So, well, we're almost to the sighting. We will just pop her into notch one. And actually idle because we are going downhill on a slope. And... Alright. Oh, nope, we're good. We are good to do 60. We're gonna put the throttle in notch four. I am playing with the mouse and keyboard, so please bear with me. <laughs> so, here's what we got. Notch 4. Effort, fuel, and a train device. It says move. Yep. Maximum speed allowed in the locomotive is 70 miles per hour. Well, we're going to be going uh, 60, so 10 miles per hour less than the max speed. So we are going to pop her into notch 3. Just to be safe. Because we do have... Now, obviously, 
up up here on the, the oh yeah well up oh, up here sorry about that tells us what signal we have ahead um, realistically I mean we won't know until we came upon it or unless we were using a PDC positive train control um, but I think in this kind of situation we realistically actually wouldn't know the signal until you like I said are right upon it come around the bend like we're going to here in a minute and be able to see it. So. Alright, we're not too bad boy in the notch. Uh, nah, we'll do notch. You know what? One, actually. No, I, notch one. Damn it. There. So, uh, sensitive. So, signals are right there and I can already tell flashing yellow is our signal okay yep we are definitely going to uh, go a little too fast no uh, flashing yellow the signal that's right there that indicates that is uh, what's called an advanced approach and it indicates that two signals from now it will be a stop signal so next signal, so that's what's called an advanced approach, the flashing yellow. A solid yellow signal is an approach signal, indicating the next signal will be a stop signal. Now, um, it might be for railroad rules. Now, I, obviously, it's been, it's been a very long time since I worked for the railroad. Um, I don't exactly remember everything. Um, so it might be um, for an approach signal that it's 30 miles per hour of passing. That could be... So we'll see when we come around the corner what's going on. All right, we're gonna start putting some 40% uh, brakes on this train. And we're gonna bail off the locomotive. And... Maybe it, for some reason I thought you could Meh. I don't know what I'm looking for. Hey, here we go. In less than a mile, we're going to be going into a 30 zone. So we're going to increase the brakes just a little more. Look at the wheels, they're kind of blurry. I don't think that's supposed to happen. Well, we'll just ignore that for now. Oh boy, we are coming upon the sighting pretty hot. Oh, no, not really, not really. We won't be doing 35. I just remembered the reason it's a 30 zone is because uh, I did play this at one time. It's a sighting that we're coming into. So you don't want to go through a splits too fast, you could derail the train. That would not be good. You definitely would lose your job. And as we can see, it is a solid yellow and approach signal. Oh, sh shush it. I don't know why it makes that uh, sound like the brakes are being applied. So yep. Here is the sighting we're going to go on to. And then we're going to at some time be going into a 15 zone. So just for fun, we're going to start slowing her down. We don't want to go into the 15 zone too fast either. Whee! Into the sighting we go with our nice train. Yep, in 400 yards, we're going to go into a 15 zone for so yeah, we're going to start to slow down.
So we'll just kind of maintain the speed for... Oh, we got slack rolling in. Not set up idle. There we go. All right. See, we also don't want um, slack to roll in too much because uh, we can rip knuckles, you know, things like that. So. We do also want to stop uh, with enough clearance for us to cut the cars before the roadway. And with cutting cars, just like in real life, you would set handbrakes on the cars too. stop the grain cars you know what? probably even with these um, hopper cars here open hoppers should be enough range for two locomotives and if that's the case that's right where we will stop or two halt now. Alright, that's right where we want to go. Alright, we're going to put our lights to dim. Ma'am, for some reason you don't want to do your job, so I have to do everything, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Don't do your job, so I'm stuck doing everything. Not only am I, only am I the engineer today, I'm also the conductor. Oh, man. Kids these days. So I am also going to throw this switch, too. Kind of weird how I have to do that, but that's right. Put some handbrakes on these. Now, obviously, I would put in real life, you would put this kind of a train a lot four, five, six. But uh, just for uh, the purpose of this game, I'm just going to put two on these. And on the uh, tank cars, I will place three. And there we go. Because we don't want to block the river crossing as to upset any motorists. And realistically, a train crew would wave them around the gates when it's safe to do so. Or, I don't know, some train... I mean, I've seen train crews do, uh, do that. Wave people around the gates. And then I've seen uh, train crews not. So, who knows. Two honks indicating we are going forward. Yep. Yep, we're going forward. Now I am leaving the headlights dimmed. The purpose of that is, uh, first off, 
I happen to know we are not going to be leaving the siding. We're not going back to the main. Um, so that's one reason. Uh, two, we're, you know, we're going to immediately start backwards. Ooh. I'll uh, activate um, the headlights when. Um... All right, now we're gonna stop. Woo! When we uh, what? Unexpected vehicle formation. I'm not sure what that means, but uh, maybe it means I cut the train too early. But guess what? I don't care. Working on it. I'll turn on the headlights when we go back forward across the roadway. Yeah, and I love how magically the end of train device got moved. But it is what it is. And realistically, the conductor would be out on the roadway to flag it so that we could safely cross. I'm not going to worry about that. Alright, here we go. Reverse. Three honks to um, signify that we are uh, going in reverse. Yep. Now, I don't know whether these tank cars are loaded or empty, but uh, the game does not specify, so we're going to treat them like they're loaded and put three handbrakes. Alright, we are going pretty quick. Only want to be in notch one. I don't know why they want them so far in the sighting. I don't know. Seems pretty far back to me, but... I'm not worried about it. I will say the one thing I like about this game is the um, adventures you can go on just looking at stuff. Just exploring. Alright, we're going to stop. Yes, 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 I know. And a couple of cars. Blah, blah, blah. There we go. And I'll show you what I mean by like exploring, for instance. It's like this tank car here. We're going to climb up the ladder. Let's go take a look at the top of this bad boy. Woo! Oh! I can pop open the loading hatch. But I can't go inside of it. So, <laughs> we can actually see that it's empty in here. Well, all right, well, all righty, that's cool. Vent tank when unloading, can I not, no I can't, okay. I will say that um, this stuff does look realistic well. These are way um, outdated. Oh, oh wait, a 2010? Um, it's 2022. This car here uh, should not even be on the tracks. The uh, light limit? 68,500 pounds. Low limits, 193,000, which is 30, what? 30,000 30, gallons. Heck yeah. No, no, I want the handbrake.
Alright, let's set these handbrakes, and for some reason they happen to be on, you know, this side of the train. You know, kind of how uh, inconvenient. <coughs> Excuse me, gosh. Allergy season. Come on. I don't know why you have to be like that. Alright, sweet. Handbrakes applied. Now let's disconnect the train cars. Hook up to our main string and um, we'll set it out. Sweet. And we're gonna uh, go across the railroad crossing, so bright lights. You know what? I'll do the horn inside here this time. Nope, 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 nope. I didn't mean to uh, do that. Oh, wow. That's what happens when you don't pay attention. Uh, lady, you gonna turn your windshield wipers off? Or... I guess I'm gonna have to do that for you. Cool. Oh my goodness, what the heck. Sheesh. Oh! Damn it. Full application. Ah, oh, my fat fingers. I sometimes uh, hit the wrong keys on the keyboard. Couple to formation. Yeah, I'm gonna couple to the consist here in a minute. Give me just a minute to get back there. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, we moved the end of train device. Okay, that's, uh... Huh. Yeah, I think we got a problem here. I, mean, I think this, uh, train device needs to go to the shop. Hmm. Yeah, we got, we got a little bit of a problem. It's teleporting through hoses. Alright, and the air hose is teleporting through the, uh... The uh, locomotive's plow. That's probably not good. Alright, we will dim our lights again. Since we are going to light power backwards, we will uh, sound the horn for the railroad crossing. Whoops. Do we get a little closer? I think on the Union Pacific, you're actually supposed to sell the horn until you cross over the road, but <clears throat> I'm not worried about that today. Woo -hoo -hoo! We're coming in hot to the joint. Oh, that's my bad. I was not paying attention. Oh, that could have been bad. Yep, that's what I get for uh, talking and not uh, paying attention. That really could have been an interesting way to end the episode with crashing the train. All right. Now, realistically, you'd go out and hook the air hoses up and all that fun jazz. We're not going to do that because the game automatically did it for us. Oh, we're also, before I forget, going to throw this switch back.
Because, yeah, we would have in real life had to hook all this stuff up. Alright, handbrake one. Fully applied? Nope. Oh, what the heck? Alright, let's try this again. That was weird. I have no idea what happened with my mouse. And as you can see, the train cars are moving um, because of the weight of the train. We're just going to move 500 yards forward, and that'll be uh, it for the episode. All right. Okay. Why is that not responding? Oh, because I'm not an idol. <sighs> okay. Yep, that grant box. Alright, we see, we uh. And also, we are heading forward. Crossing? Hello? Um, there we go. A little late, buddy. Really late. Goodness. All right. We're going to go 400 yards and come to a stop, and um, I happen to know that uh, we'll be getting off the train. <clears throat> oh, Reddy was off the whole time. <laughs> Talk! Fan speed. Alright, up there is where we're gonna go, and we are going to be getting off this locomotive and um, probably changing crews if I had to make a guess. Or waiting at the signal. I don't know. Boy, somebody's gonna be very upset when they realize that um, they cannot cross the road. Alright, we're at that much of a grade that, um, oh, there we go. Now we're starting to slow down. <clears throat> yeah, we definitely uh, want to start slowing down. Yep, slack's rolling in. Yeah, the locomotive jerking, that's the slack rolling in from the uh, rest of the cars. You can hear it. Alright, there we go. Possibly. Maybe I'm not close enough. No. Okay. I guess I'm not close enough. Now I gotta be. There we go. Yep, there we go. Perfect. <laughs> All I had to go was just a few more feet. Distance blocked. Almost a mile distance driven, 6.2 miles. Look at that, 30 minutes. Level 4, huh? Level 5.
Level 10 altogether. Okay. La la la, la la la. I don't exactly know what the speed limit. Yeah, I touched the speed limit. I did not go over the speed limit. I don't recall that at all, buddy. Hmm, okay. Sweet. Well, thank you guys for tagging along with me this episode today. If you enjoy uh, Train Simulator, let me know. I will uh, gladly uh, record more videos for you guys. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll see you in the next video.